all this while the prime real estate in hyderabad was concentrated in the western parts of the city primarily due to the it corridor but the trend is now slowly shifting towards the eastern part of the city with renewed government focus on this region so let's quickly look at some of the developments and upcoming projects in the east let's start with uppal this is the uppal junction the left side road leads to amberpet and the right side road leads to yadagiri gutta via narapalli and the top and bottom roads take you to tarnaka and elbinagar four new flyovers will be coming up in this junction in a couple of years time and the skywalk which was proposed a year ago is almost complete and will be thrown open to public soon so the greenish yellow line marked is the elevated corridor which starts from uppal circle and ends at the central power research institute it's a 6.2 km long four lane expressway which will significantly improve traffic flow in this stretch of nh163 with this the transit time from uppal to pocharam will be reduced to under 15 minutes as we all know nh163 goes deep into telangana which with busy towns every 5 to 8 km and connects the two most important economic hubs of the telangana state with char varangal and hyderabad the proposed 235 km long hyderabad varangal industrial corridor extends along nh163 so the government plans to develop three clusters one is the yadadri cluster and the which will accommodate medical and mineral based industries the second is the janagaon cluster which will accommodate food processing and leather industries and the third is the varangal cluster for textile park it ites and agro industries so rrr which is the regional ring road will meet this hyderabad varangal highway somewhere near bhuvanagiri which will give further boost to the industry proposed industrial corridor this highway is also home to landmark developments like aims bb nagar and yadadri temple which we all know is very prestigious to telangana government also the population has been steadily increasing in this stretch between uppal circle and gatkesar and many malls have come up on this stretch not only malls there are quite a lot of schools hypermarkets and other businesses which have set up their shop on this stretch a few malls to note are the dsl virtu mall and the mjr square mall and a very recent addition is the dmart hyper store which has been set up near the orr exit dmart does a thorough analysis before setting up its store it's a clear indication of growing population and traffic flow so the obvious a lot of builders have focused on this region and there are quite a few residential projects which have sprung up in the recent times so including the likes of harihara by sri sai kakatiya builders and just opposite to sri sai kakatiya builders you can see the project ananda which is by sahasram builders so here are the renders and uh, the current progress of the project just above ananda there is a project by pranith pranav builders these builders are quite popular in the west region especially aminpur and patancheru and as we move further there is another project by ace which is called alaya so like these there are quite a few residential projects so let's quickly look at another important development of this area which is the cherlapalli railway terminal so this satellite terminal is the third largest terminal after sikindrabad and varangal this terminal is coming up with nine platforms and is expected to handle close to 50000 passengers as part of improving connectivity to this terminal uh, and also this region government has a uh, planned five link roads and uh, these link road will improve connectivity to areas of nagaram rampalli and uh, pocharam including cherlapalli station so one link road connects the rampalli junction to cherlapalli station and another important link road connects orr exit 
to the government homes which is just behind the Infosys campus. So the Infosys campus at its current state is accommodating 20,000 employees and uh, the phase 2 is planned which includes 3.8 million SFT space and will also add 20,000 new seats. So we can expect a lot of employment to come up. There is another IT park which has been there uh, for quite a while and there, which is the Raheja Mindspace IT park. There are quite a few buildings planned. Out of these, a portion of Raheja has been given to Ashoka Builders. So Ashoka Builders are coming up with a beautiful project called ASBL Springs, which is in progress. Uh, this is a 4.11 acre project and will be handed over in 2024. Just behind Ashoka Builders, there is Anuhar Homes. They are coming up with a few towers called Apple Towers. You can see the renders. And just opposite to Ashoka Builders, we have the Singapore Township, which has been there for quite a while now. The white line that you are seeing is the 200 feet road. So this 200 feet road already exists till here. From here to here, this road is proposed. And based on this proposed 200 feet road, there are quite a few projects which are coming up. So let's start here. Here is Medha Sarvo. And as we move further, there is Sadbhavana Township, which is already full with occupants. And just opposite to Sadbhavana Township, we have Ramki 1 Orion project, which is a beautiful gated community coming up with 8 towers and more than 600 flats. And here we have Nitya AUM Builders project. We have Modi Builders project coming up with 256 flats. This is a uh, very good gated community uh, in 2.5 acres. And just behind that we have a villa project by AV Group. So this project is almost complete. And uh, as we move further on this 200 feet road, there is another project by ACE, which has a very good elevation. Like this, this area is bustling with activity and is definitely expected to grow in the coming times. And we can expect a lot of new players to enter the Pocharam region in the next couple of years. And the obvious, the prices are expected to soar soon.